Hello everybody, this is Mrs. Smith here. Today my fourth graders and I are doing uh, Unit 4 Lesson 5, which is on page 147. I do want to give you a heads up. Um, I talked to my kids and we're going to make the video shorter. So I'm not going to be going through every, every single problem with you. Um, if you do need help and you're in my class, come to the help Zoom or come ask me for help. And if you're not in my class, talk to your teacher about what you should be doing for help, okay? All right, so in today's activity, we're doing comparison situations. And this should be very familiar. I remember when I taught second grade, we did it all the time. So um, these are comparison bars that should look um, very normal for you. In lesson 4.4, you learned about multiplication and division comparison situations, but you can also compare using addition and subtraction. You can find how much more or how much less one amount is than another. The amount more or less is called the difference, and that's what's going to go in this difference bubble over here. In some problems, the difference is not given. You have to find it. In other problems, uh, the lesser or greater amount um, is not given. So basically, you have the big bar, the little bar, the bubble, and that's the difference. And when you have the little amount and the difference together, it sort of makes like a math mountain that when you add them up together and you'll get that bigger amount. So Mia has nine apples and 12 plums. So the big amount gets the big bar, that's 12. Um, and the little amount gets the little bar. Then to find the difference, you're simply going to do 12 take away nine or nine plus what equals 12. And in both cases, that's three. So uh, she has three more plums than apples, and she has three fewer apples than plums. Okay. All right, should be familiar. I'm gonna do this one with you, and I'm not gonna do the next one. Here we go. A nursery has 70 rose bushes and 50 tea tree bushes. How many fewer tea tree bushes than ro rose bush bushes are at the nursery? So every time you're doing one of these, you're gonna have a big bar, a little bar and a bubble. What's more, rose or tea tree? You have more rows, they get the big bar. What they have goes in their bar, 70. Uh, the other number goes in the other bar because that's what they have. And we're looking for that difference and we'll find that by asking 50 plus D equals 70 or 70 minus 50 equals D. In both cases, D equals what? 20. Uh, so good job. Now try this one on your own, see how you do. Now we're gonna skip ahead and do, uh, let's do, Number three, uh, Kyle and Mackenzie are playing a computer game. Kyle scored 7,628 and Mackenzie scored 2,085 fewer points than Kyle. So that's not the amount that she scored. That is simply the difference. So I'm gonna make my, my model. Now here's an important thing. Um, we know how much Kyle did. We don't know exactly what Mackenzie scored, but we know she scored some amount fewer or less than what Kyle did, which means Kyle did more, Kyle gets the big bar. Mackenzie gets the little bar, but we don't know what it is. The difference is 2,085, and Kyle's amount was 7,628. To find this, we're going to do 7,628 minus 2,085 to get M. M equals, let's go ahead and set that up. 7,628 minus 2,085. Eight minus five is three. Two minus eight is not gonna work, so we have to ungroup. 12 minus eight, which is four. Five minus nothing is five. 7,000 minus 2,005. So M equals Mackenzie's point value was 5,543. Okay. 
Now, we've done the multiplication and addition in the, or multiplication and division in the past. This time we focused on uh, addition and subtraction. You can keep working on these, and if you want to have some help, come see me at the Help Zoom. But now we're going to think about reading a problem and trying to decide, is it multiplication or is it division, addition, or subtraction? Because really, unless it's on a page that says only addition, you have to figure that out yourself, right? Okay, for each problem, draw a model, write an addition or multiplication to identify the type of comparison, then write and solve the equation to solve the problem. Number seven, Nick and Liz both collect marbles. Liz has four times as many marbles as Nick. If Nick has 240 marbles, how many marbles does Liz have? So we know that Liz has Nick's number times four, right? Four times what he has. So this is, if you wanted to draw it, Nick has a quarter of what Liz has. So this is multiplication. That times was the big hint there. So it is Nick's amount, 240, times four. And that equals L240 times four. 4 times 0 is 0, 4 times 40 is 160, and 4 times 200 is 800, which gives us 960. So L equals 960 marbles. Okay. Now you can keep working on the, well, I'll do, I'll do one uh, different one. Hang on. Let's do number 8. So Samantha has... 145 fewer songs on her portable media player than Luke has on his portable media player. That's like what you would have before you had music on your phone. If Samantha has uh, 583 songs, how many songs does Luke have? What type is this and how do you know? It is, it's fewer than, that indicates that we can use our comparison bar we know that Samantha has the fewer amount than Luke. She has a difference. This fewer than number is the difference, 145, and uh, has 583. And if you add those together, you're going to get what Luke's is. So this is addition. So then we're going to do 583 plus 145. Five plus three is eight. Four plus eight is 12. And one plus one is two plus five more is seven. So 728 songs. All right. The last one I'm going to do with you is the puzzled penguin. Here we go. It says, dear math students, I was asked to find the number of stamps that Amanda had has if her friend Jesse has 81 stamps. And that is nine times as many stamps as Amanda has. To solve the problem, I wrote my equation, 81 times 9 equals S, then I solved and got 729. My answer is not right. Can you help me? Okay, think about what the problem is. I'm going to write out the equation that I would use. So 81 is 9 times what Amanda has. So rather than doing 81 times 9, what we really want to do is 81 divided by 9, which is 9, or A. <laughs> A equals 9. So that's, you can write your own explanation, but that is the problem. Uh, if you have any questions about this, my friends, come to the Help Zoom. I will catch you next time. Bye-bye.